Hey everyone, welcome to Skastai. Now this is a game by Garage Heathen. If you don't know who he is, he is the same guy who made t -Gachi, But he did have someone else work with him in this game. But um, I'm not sure what this is about. I mean, I did read the description page of it, but I don't remember what it is. Anyway, let's just play. Okay. Oh, hey. Okay, so here we are. We are in a room. We have this little Garage Heathen bus thing. Uh, what does it say? Oh, these are incense sticks. Okay, let me just incense up the room. This is a John Lennon poster and this is a light switch. What is this switch for? What is this? What is this switch for? I don't have a light bulb in this room. I have an invisible light bulb. And I have this computer continue the story. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I, oh, it's 25 April 2004. My name is Ivan. Alexandrovich Yoto. I work as a car mechanic in the Russian town of Nizhnevartovsk. While in my free time, I enjoy coding and literature. I have been married for six years. However, four years ago, I had part ways with my spouse. It didn't happen earlier due to the two kids we had. Do you know what a quine is? I have no idea. A quine is a computer program that outputs its own code. Perhaps a more romantic person than I would compare it to a self-fulfilling pro prophecy. The divorce with Anna Matvina Yatov has not been my life easier. Had not made my life easier. It all was not being able to see my sons, Misha and Andrei Yatov. At first, their mother would try to hinder our meetings in any way she could. Then she took them and moved to Nefte Nefte Yugansk. Severing our contacts completely. Being left by myself, I succumbed to the solace for which my nation is so notorious among the educated world. Vodka. My actions were caused additionally by a series of cuts at my place of work that resulted in me losing the job. After spending all of my remaining savings on alcohol, I had to move in with my mother for I was not able to pay the rent. It's curious. How similarly our brain reacts to some neural stimuli. It is proven now that most of the lingual forma formations invoke identical neural responses in the brain most for, of most people. Therefore, the reading of this text, for example, would induce the same neural reaction in almost any human reader. We were living on the ground floor. My poor elderly mom hardly left the apartment while I started my morning with a bottle of talca on the bench in front of our building. That way, I have soon found friends. The company was rather mot motly? Motly? It consisted of squalid academicians. Academicians? I don't know how to read that word. Afghan veterans unable to find themselves in civil life, Turkmen janitors, and silent sinewy laborers who would spend their daytime at job at the job site, occasionally beat their wives, and drink heavily in the evenings. Ah, uh, yes. The common man. The latter looked as though they were born through condensation on the great concrete walls of this town, being the literal extension of it. One person stood out among them. His name is Fedor Ivanovich Rybkin. It says the whole game, I've been typing away at this computer for a while. I have to type the computer to progress the story. So it, it's, it's hurting my wrists a little bit. I'm not exactly sure how we ended up in our company. Fedor Stepanovich had a stable job, engineer at Tarhovsky Limited, a two-room apartment at the Lenin Street and, uh, as I have learned later, a small home library. When drinking, he never acted aggressively, never cried, and complained. As a rule, his eyes gained some sort of a spark from a puny bald man. He would transform to a charismatic, almost inspiring figure. How one wanted to follow him. I got to know him better last winter. In the evenings, our company would roam about in the neighborhood. We would hang out on the porches, playgrounds, and yards of nearby apartment buildings. That evening, a janitor called Maksut and his homeless friend Vanekka were having their usual fun, singing loud songs in the yard, terrorizing bypassing teens and occasionally fighting each other. Fedor Stepanovich followed them quietly while I was hit by a tan of melancholy, an emotion characteristic for that period of my life. At some point, I just sat down on a frozen tire sticking out of the ground. Snow started falling. Wind was howling in the pipes above, but high rises around the yard were hiding me from it. I still had a bottle of with the remains of Talca in my hand that I was gradually finishing. Snow sneaking to my face has already stopped bothering me. My eyelids were heavy, it was getting harder and harder to keep my head up until I finally fell into a heavy, 
Crepuscular dream. I slept outside on a tire in the snow. How did I do that? I was having the usual murky visions that one experiences when under the influence. Aha, because I was drunk. White trees that emanated quiet crackles, seemingly electrical in nature, surrounded me. Somehow I knew there were sycamores. Ah oh, yes, the sycamore trees come once again. It was hard to see anything, as a wall of impenetrable darkness started at arm's length. Aside from the crackles, the trees seemed to emit a different sound. It was quiet, light music, so tender and strange that it became instantly clear it was not of human origin. After maybe days, I have stumbled upon the edge of that world. The stripe of white soil simply ended with a clean border. There was only darkness ahead. As I stepped past the margin, I have begun my unnaturally slow descent. I looked up and saw the world gradually revealing its underside. On it, an enormous creature, sitting in an insect-like pose. It looked remotely like a monkey, had snake eyes, and was wearing some sort of mushroom-shaped hat. You mean like the garage heathen looking kind of thing? The, the, the whatever, the totem or the, the doll? I don't know. Its blue monkey lips were stretching an uncanny smile, revealing a row of enormous yellow teeth. I woke up in an unfamiliar apartment. That wasn't a very big surprise. Suffering from hangover, I was struggling to identify whose apartment it was. The room was hardly furnished. All it had was a bed, on which I lied, a writing desk with a computer and a colorful poster depicting John Lennon. The ambient noises, I don't know what they are. I've heard like children singing, some music playing in the background, and now I'm hearing rain. Stumbling, I proceeded to the door. Bookshelves occupied most of the next room. On a little pillar in the corner stood a small wooden statue. It depicted sort of a midget with a snake-shaped penis and a weird mushroom-like hat. A saucer filled with dry sticks of incense lies before it. Am I just describing this apartment room? It emitted light smoke. I could hear the sound of something frying from the kitchen. As I went there, I saw Fedor Stepanovich Ribkin wearing an old morning gown. Am I hearing some frying in the background? He was frying some eggs. Something from the Beatles was playing on the radio. I awkwardly asked where the toilet was. He pointed silently. As I urinated, I felt more and more uneasily. What was that weird thing in his living room? Why did he bring me to his house? He must have known I had keys with me. Strange explanations came to mind, mostly homoerotic in nature. Nice. But I swept them away bravely. Finally, after gathering up the courage, I returned to the kitchen. Even now, my memories of everything that happened in the next year are crystal clear. Fedor Stepanovich turned out to be a decent man. He told me more about his job as Tarko, shared a story of his own divorce. Then he showed me his library. It was a rather strange collection. I saw a hip little book by Manarishi Manage Yogi, one exemplar of Chapev and Void by Victor Pelavin, even a shabby Alazif by A. Alzard. Is this the whole game? Am I just typing and reading? Can I escape? Can I like do something else and just not keep typing? Oh, I can. Oh my god, I've been reading that story for 10 straight minutes. I don't know how long. Achievement unlocked. Is that all there is? I just unlock an achievement saying, is that all there is? Yeah. Is this the whole game? What if I exit? Achievement unlocked. Good ending. Thank you for playing. Game by Gar- That's the good ending? I just stop writing the story and I just leave? Yay! We got the good ending. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Easy. That was great. That was great, sure. Wait, does that mean if I restart the game? Oh, okay, I just continue where I left off, thank god. I thought I, I thought I was gonna be like, type it again from the beginning. Okay, we are going to go through the story. I'm sorry if it's boring to watch, but I want to see the rest of the story. If you wanna rest, if you wanna hear the rest of the story where, well, get ready to hear it because I'm gonna type the whole thing. Most of this For space was reason, occupied by a collection familiar, of works of some, heard it in some Marcel Griol. Was kind of For some reason, the name felt familiar was an as the heard it in some time in my childhood. Studies of the Dogon people of West After Africa. five volumes of her works are dedicated to a certain family of mushrooms usually referred to as Teth. As well as some other conventional methods by Griol. According to Griol, in the very developed astrological culture of Dogon, this particular mushroom was known not only as a celestial projection of the solar stars of Dogon, but also as a celestial projection of the solar stars of Dogon. This particular mushroom was known not only as a celestial projection of the solar stars of Dogon, but also as a celestial projection of the solar stars of Dogon. This particular mushroom was known not only as a celestial projection of the solar stars of Dogon, but also as a celestial projection of the solar stars of Dogon. This particular mushroom was I'm typing so fast! I'm typing so fast, look! <laughs> okay, I just have a macro keyboard on. I'm not gonna read the rest of the story. <laughs> 
I just, I just want to see the end. Does this not end? How long is this? Is this like a whole book? Is this going to be a whole novel of me just typing here? Is that going to be the whole thing? Because that's crazy. <laughs> what would you do? What would you make this game? What does it mean? What does it all mean? How long am I going to have to sit here and wait for this until this ends? Is this going to be the bad ending? Is this, does this just go on forever? What if after all of this, after I just finished the whole story, it keeps typing and typing, it just starts over at the beginning? I think that's what's going to happen. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. I don't know if, if there's like a bad ending sort of thing that I need to wait for, but I know I don't know. I'm not patient enough. I don't want to sit here for like 20 minutes just looking at this. I mean, I'm not I'm not reading it anymore. It's going by so fast for me to read. So I'm just gonna and the frame rate's even slowing down at how fast the macro is actually going. <laughs> oh shit. I crashed the game. <laughs> I crashed. The game crashed. Oh my god, dude. Okay, according to the Steam achievements, the only other achievement is Prophecy, which is, I guess, if you, like, finish the story. So I guess the, f the story does end at some point. I don't know how long it is going to be. How long is it going to be? Let me check the store page. How long did, did they play this for? Yeah, alright, so that's the whole game. I checked the reviews. Apparently, to get the other ending, it takes like 30 minutes. But uh, nothing really happens. I guess you just get the achievement. So, to sum up this game, it's more of like a walking simulator. But instead of walking, it's a typing simulator. So, you just have your own experience while you're typing away at the keyboard. It's, it's your decision if you want to read it, if you just want to keep typing to get the ending. So it's your decision what really you want to make out of it, what meaning you want to make out of it. I'm sure this is the whole like thing that you can figure out for yourself, but uh, it is something that you have to figure out for yourself. But I did play the game the way I wanted to play it, and uh, I'm happy that I played it that way. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for today guys. If you want to try this game out for yourself, I'll leave a game link in the description. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that notification to get over there every time I upload. And as always, thanks for watching.